your data logger needs a program to make measurements, store data, and do control. We'll be using Shortcut to write a simple program. From the Program category of the LoggerNet toolbar, select Shortcut. In PC400 and PC200W, you'll find the Shortcut icon here. The program generator opens. The first time you run Shortcut, you're prompted for AC noise rejection. Choose 60 Hz if you're in the United States and 50 Hz for most of Europe. After that, all programs will use the same setting. You can check or change it anytime from the program menu. Select New Program. Select the data logger model that you are writing the program for. I'll choose a CR6. The scan interval is how often the data logger wakes up and takes a measurement. For this exercise, we'll set the scan to one second and click Next. We're using a Type-T thermocouple in our example today. One of these is shipped with every data logger. If you don't have one, you can use another sensor that you do have. By default, the data logger's battery voltage and panel temperature are measured. It's a good practice to keep these. And we'll be using the panel temperature as our thermocouple reference. Thermocouples are temperature sensors, so we'll select the temperature folder, and specifically, it is a Type-T thermocouple. So I select that here and add it to my sensor list by double-clicking or clicking this arrow. We're going to use all the defaults. If you wanted to change the name of the variable that stores the temperature measurement, you could change it here. If you have other sensors, you can add them in the same way. Click Next. This is the output section where you would specify the data that you want to store and later copied to your computer. This is the information that you need to do your job one of the reasons you have a data logger. Enter a name for the first table. The name needs to start with a letter and has to be eight characters or less. In CR Basic, you can use longer names. I'll call mine one min. In this example, you want to store data every one minute or 60 seconds. Since the interval is 60, choose seconds as the units, or you could have changed the interval to one and used minutes. Now we'll add measurements with processing to the table. Every minute, the data logger will store the average air temperature. Since the data logger is taking one second measurements, this will be an average of 60 discrete measurements. Other measurements and processing are added in the same way. With the maximum and minimum output, you could also store the time that the maximum or minimum occurred. In this example, it would be which second in the 60 that was the maximum. I'm not going to store the time. It is a good idea to store the minimum battery voltage. A sample records the latest measured value without any special processing. Other tables or output intervals are set up in a similar way. When you're done configuring the output, click Finish and save your program. The program is checked for any errors or warnings, and if you have a connection to the data logger, you can send the program now. We'll select No and use the Connect screen to send the program later. Shortcut provides a summary, and under the Advanced tab, you can see the CR Basic program and any other information. The wiring diagram and text provided show where the sensor leads must be connected to the data logger's wiring panel to take good measurements. Incorrect wiring or not following the diagram provided is a common new user error. You must wire your sensors in accordance with the information provided by Shortcut. If you need to go back to your program in the future to make changes, you can. For example, you can edit the sensor settings or wiring. By clicking the terminal name, you can choose a different set of terminals. You would only want to do this if you were needing to match a particular wiring setup. Most of the time, you can let Shortcut determine the most efficient wiring. There's one more feature in Shortcut to show you today. Click on the Devices folder. Multiplexers and other Campbell Scientific peripherals can be added to your data logger using the same procedure we just went through with the sensors. 
Once added, they appear as another tab here. Shortcut provides wiring diagrams for these devices as well. Now that we have our program written, we're ready to send it to the data logger. If you're using LoggerNet, we'll be in the Connect screen. If you're using PC400 or PC200W, we'll be in the main screen. For the next steps, we have different video tutorials for LoggerNet and PC400, PC200W.